Hello, this is a quick review to show you the camera settings I use on my Leica CL after getting the question from one of my Patreons. This will be a very quick and simple video, but it may help you get started with your Leica CL camera. Okay, first things first, you'll notice that I'm using a manual focus lens and the Leica M to L adapter. I'm showing you this particular camera setup because people tend to have more questions about using manual focus lenses than they do with, say, the autofocus kit lens. So first things first, let's turn it on. Now, if we look at the top of the camera, the Leica CL has obviously the on-off switch, the shutter release button, and then two kind of combined buttons and dials. So these function as both a button and a dial. What I mean by that is you can turn the outside of the button focus so if I turn the outside that rotates in both directions but then the middle of the buttons also function so you kind of have two functions on each on each of the button slash dials so if we turn it on one thing to point out is you can set these buttons to your own taste so personally looking at the top of the camera with the lens pointing away I have the left button set as manual mode that, that displays as the M, it goes off really quick. So there's, I'll do it again for you. There's the M, so M, so I will shoot manual mode. So that's the left button. Now the right button, if I press that, that is my exposure preview option. So I tend to shoot, the settings go off really quick. So I tend to shoot in PASM mode, which is exposure preview mode, as the name suggests. But what you can also have, if you roll the top right dial across, you can have PAS mode. Now I shoot in PAS mode if I'm using flash, because that pretty much lets you kind of see in the dark. It will kind of get bright enough to let you see regardless of the conditions. Where if I go back to my standard PASM mode, you can see that it's displaying the exposure that I'll get if I take this photo in this particular camera settings. So this is what I use 99% of the time. So that's the two buttons on the insides. Okay, to show you the next button, I've had to change my setup slightly to make it possible in this scenario. So what I've done, I've changed the lens. I've just bodged it up. I've put a closed focus adapter on a standard lens. So now what I'm going to show you is the functionality of the dial, the outside of the left hand button. Okay, so that's how the lens looks at the moment through the camera in standard mode. Now if I roll the top dial on the left once, see it zoom in, and twice. Now I can critically focus and take your photo. Right, so what did I do? I rolled this dial one. Two. Now take note, as far as I know, this only works with the Leica branded M to L adapter. If using some of the other alternative adapters, say Novaflex, this method doesn't work as far as I know. If you manage to get it to work, feel free to drop a comment below. So I believe you have to use the arrow keys here. Now again, the arrow keys don't work for all adapters as well. I've got three adapters and arrow keys don't work for any of them. And the top left dial only works with the Leica branded adapter. Okay, so that's showing you that setup. Let me swap the lenses back over and we'll get back to the position I was in a second ago. Okay, so we've done the two functions of the top left button. So the second function of the top right button is shutter speed. So personally, I have mine set for shutter. Obviously, I work in M mode, which means I'm controlling the exposure with the shutter on the top right, and then the, the aperture on the lens itself. So for almost all my photography, the only buttons I'm using are these two. I'll turn the camera on. I will set my exposure so the exposure is correct with the top right hand dial. And then when I go to take my shot, I will roll the outside of the left hand dial, one stop, two stop, and take the photo. And that's it. So that's my settings kind of during the shoot. But obviously there are more settings which I tend to use less often. Now if you've updated to the latest firmware, when you press the menu button, you should see this display. So you'll see first I'm using manual mode. I tend to use ISO 200 and 400 the most, but I'll go up to 
3200 quite happily and ISO 100 in bright conditions and shutter speed I tend to try to shoot at 1 over 60 or faster. Now because I'm used to film cameras I don't use a lot of the menu settings so personally I'm just using the AFS mode and so that single shot not continuous. I use the black and white preset which means I see the pictures in black and white so it helps me visualize the final photo which I tend to process in black and white anyway and I shoot in DNG raw mode so obviously the camera's recording in colour but then I'll just apply one of my Leica CL Lightroom presets which are available on the MrLeica.com blog I'll apply a black and white preset to all the images and then that's more or less 99% of the work done in terms of editing uh, I tend to shoot in daylight white balance rather than auto white balance because daylight or cloudy day I do this for uniformity kind of the same white balance in all images if you use auto white balance it's changing in every photo in certain situations and then that becomes a bit of a pain when you come to edit so personally i set it to the desired lighting situation and then i leave it at that so normally daylight or shade that's pretty much all the menu settings i use i just try and keep it super simple so once it's set up like this once as i say the bottom half of this table don't change in any of my photo shoots 99 percent maybe white balance occasionally I always keep it in manual mode. The shutter speed I'm changing on the top of the camera as, an, as I shoot. And anyone who's a hybrid shooter, I tend to set the ISO to my film speed. So when I'm shooting something like the Leica 3 cameras or the Leica M3 alongside this, it helps me visualize the exposure because I'll know that if I'm shooting at ISO 400 on the digital camera, 1 over 60 f2 aperture then if i dial the same settings in on the film camera it will give me the same exposure so it's just a lazy way of doing your exposure settings if you're using film and digital side by side so if you want to use the same settings as me a and s here which means left button a right button s um, i also have my horizon line set and I've got the grid on. So the, the green horizon line obviously tells you when your photo is straight. Uh, as a portrait photographer, this is less important, but I do tend to still enjoy kind of straight horizon lines. And the grid just helps me kind of line things up. Lastly, one thing I forgot to mention, the FN button set is ISO. So obviously I use that through the shoot without thinking about it. So during a the shoot then, I'm only using the top two dials slash buttons and the ISO button maybe once or twice. And that's pretty much it. I'm sure I've oversimplified this video and apologies if I've missed anything. Feel free to comment below if you do something which you think is better than my current setup. This is just what works for me. I tend to use menus once and then once they're set, I tend to forget them and keep things as simple as possible. This is obviously a diopter if you're new to the Leica CL. So you, you look through the viewfinder and turn that until the vision is clear for you. And I'm not sure what else I can tell you. I was using touch screen, but obviously you can use the, the arrow keys to work around the screen as well. I tend not to use the Wi-Fi setting because I found the app very poor. And I don't really use any of these settings because 99% I'm using manual focus with manual lenses. So for that reason, my setup is probably more simple than for other cameras. Okay, so that's my very simple review of the camera settings I use on my Leica CL for or my photography. If you found it useful and you would like to support the channel, please hit the like button and feel free to subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching, have a great day and see you again in the next episode. Bye.